Hi everyone, I have a big package of something and we're going to open it together. So stick with me. Okay, this has got to be from AliExpress or something. I'll have to see. I'm not sure what it is yet. So, bear with me, everybody. Let's open it up. It's diamond paintings. It's definitely diamond paintings. Oh, my goodness. It's a lot of them. One. Two. Okay. I don't know. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We'll do these, and then we'll wait to do the rest of them. This is going to be a two-part, <laughs> so to speak. I think this is um, Diamond Painting Factory. I think it's Diamond Painting Factory, everybody. So um, I'm, I'm not going to show you what this is yet. I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm going to open these up, and then you'll get to see those later sorry about that everybody when it comes in you don't know which bag if you have several different things coming in you don't know which bag you're going to have uh how much you're going to have in the bag you don't know which company has arrived so <laughs> it is kind of confusing that's what i'm trying to say i'm having one of them days i can't think can't talk can't speak can't do anything i can take naps though <laughs> Okay, let's see if, okay, this may be been an experiment to see if what I chose is going to be big enough. Now, it may not be. There's a lot, I mean, a lot of stuff going on in this picture, and I think I may have made a mistake. And here's another mistake that Mim has made. Um, you can see on the back, it's kind of, kind of cramped up. Okay, I don't like that. It will probably come out, but still, um, it makes me worry. Okay, so tell me if you can see what this is. I know it's all wrinkled. It is Mickey Mouse, and in the sky, he's writing, it's magic. And then it has all these different characters around it. Okay. Um... The lighting is not doing too well for me today, and it's wanting to be all wrinkly. So, yeah, um, let me look at it a little bit. Nope. <laughs> you can see Ariel right here, somewhat Ariel. Lion King, this is his daddy in the shadows. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, that's, that's the Blue Fairy. Um, this is the house with Alice's legs and her face. Okay, this is Snow White with the last kid, the, the kiss. And then Cinderella, I think, down here, I think. And what this is, I don't know. Um... Okay, so just see if y'all can see those things in this. I don't know. It looks better on camera. It does. Up close, it's just really, really bad. So you see it up close. Don't even really know what this thing is. Um, Alice in Wonderland in the house where she's too big. Uh... Lion King, and whatever, uh, Ariel, um, yeah, this is a disappointment. 44 by 54, okay, so it, it fills up pretty much my camera, it's a 44 by 54, I'm going to turn around for you. 44 by 54 H130, and these are the diamonds that it came in. It did come with the 
the same kind like I have already been showing y'all lately in the individual inline diamond packets. It does that have the H130 on it where it's supposed to. The number and then it also has the color number which I love that. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. It only has one. Two, wait a minute. This is very very light. Let me look here. It's hard to see it. I don't have my glasses on, so... 19 pictures. It's Disney... Uh, 19 pictures. 19 colors, and it's a Disney diamond painting. Only 19 colors. That's kind of weird. Um, I'm not happy with this. When am I going to learn? Do not buy Disney ones that has all of this stuff in here unless you buy them huge, as big as your truck. I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I'd give it a try. If this is round, so it's even more, it's not going to be, it, that doesn't help the detail. If it's round, it's not going to help that detail. Boy, it is sticky though. Good grief, that is sticky. That feels like somebody ate some waffles this morning and left the paper plate out. Okay, let's get that back down on there. I didn't see anything wrong with it, the, with the actual surface of the glue. It looked good. I'm just sort of disappointed because I'm going to spend time doing this. This is a 54 by, I mean, 44 by 54. And I've got a big old, I'm going to spend my time doing this picture and only for it to not turn out like I would have liked it to. Let's see if that works. Nope. And you see how hard it is sometimes to put these down. So I'm I'm not faulting the people if they don't put it down. They probably put they probably have to do 50 million of these, and so they get in a hurry to get their work done. I know, but the one that we get, we feel like that is the most important one. They should have done better. I'm bad for that. And I need to understand, you know. <laughs> they probably put 50 million of these covers down. And when one goes a little squirrely, they're like, ah, it'll be okay. Most of the time they open it and fix it. Fi fixing it. Fix it whenever it gets there. So they may have a time limit. To get things done in their factories maybe on a conveyor belt you never know so it's like Lucy and whatever her friends name what was Ethel Luce, Lucy and Ethel at the chocolate shop they did it whatever they could do <laughs> keep up with that conveyor belt yeah I'd been the same way I'd been popping them Chocolates in my mouth too. Wouldn't you? Oh my goodness. So here's his hands. It's magic. That'll probably come out fine. Um, other than that, I do not know what all this is. Okay. Ariel and whatever this is. I'll have to put up the picture. Alright. So... I may have a few little air bubbles in there. This one may go to a friend um, rather than me do this one because <laughs> I've got so many others. And this was just me trying out the Diamond Painting Factory. If that's where this is from, I'm thinking it is. So here are the diamonds. Remember, we only have, what, 19? Yep, just 19. Just 19 for a Disney? That's crazy. Let me see these. That's 17, 18, and 19 right there. Alright. And we'll just go through. And there's a lot of diamonds in this one. You can see how thick the packs are. So 
So it may look better, but I have done another Disney one that did not turn out. Because they like to try to conclude everything Disney's done in one picture. I don't know why I get sucked into these. I do. I get sucked into it. And you know, here recently, Disney has not got, Disney has got on some people's bad side recently. Unfortunately. I'm so nasally. My body had kicked it. The Lord had helped me kick it. And here it is again. It's a little cold. Or allergies. The pollen this year has been so bad. Oh my goodness. It can rain. I mean rain hard. And that pollen is not gone. I mean it's there. It's maybe my problem. And I woke up. One side bleeding. The other side like it's infected. You know. One of them things. Okay, so this is my first ever. Now, I, I just don't like that. I just don't like how that looks. That the wrinkles and stuff in that. Yeah, you know, you know me. I I've, I've been spoiled. Some of these that's come lately that's smaller. That's so pristine. I'm sorry. Anyways, I'm just disappointed. Yeah, I disappointed. That's okay. I'm probably gonna give this as a gift. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to put one in. See, I make mistakes all the time, don't I, youngins? I forgot to put nine, 17, 18, and 19 in there. Duh. Okay. We got it. And I'm rolling it right back up. And I roll it outward than the way it was. And I want to make sure that the picture is viewable. So I'm going to try to put it back in its, pic in its baggie. And now I probably interrupted what I was saying. But anyways, Disney has chose to jump into the whether or not a teacher can tell a child, tell parents that they can talk about things. To your child at school and I when I went to school there was always a piece of paper when it come to that time that grade whatever well and the parent could opt out whatever I mean I understand that but now it's like you don't tell us what we can and cannot tell your child we in and if we want to tell them in 4k or kindergarten about the birds and the bees and the social issues then we can't you can't tell us even though you're parents I don't agree with that I still think it's a parent's child and a parent's choice what they teach their children it's nobody else's business. In fact, that doesn't need to even be in a child's vocabulary at 4K, 5K, and on up to, I, I would say, just high schoolers. I really do. But I'm old-fashioned. Okay. And I don't want to get into any kind of... I'm not talking about this for discussion or anything like that. I don't want YouTube to... Single me out. Oh, you're talking about important subjects that hurt people's feelings. I'm not talking about anybody else, but how I feel my, my own opinion about that deal. And, and yeah, it's Disney. And I love Disney. We all love Disney. And we, we go to Disney to have fun, to ha spend time with our families for a happy, happy place. We don't... We, I don't think the original Walt Disney wanted his place to be about social issues. I think he just wanted it to be a vacation, a, a, a respite. Um, I'm trying to think of that word when you want to just go somewhere and, and just have a place to go and leave all your worries behind. I'm not talking about cheers. <laughs> or anything like that. 
um, just, you know, a respite place. You know, it's where you can just rest and enjoy. Now, of course, you're not going to rest at Disney with four parks and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm talking about the one in Florida, of course. But anyways, I love Disney. I grew up on Disney Sundays. On the sun, you know, the old time Sunday afternoon, uh, evening, Sunday evening TV show. And we loved that. We loved it. I just, I don't think Walt Disney would be approving of taking these certain stances they are. It, and to me, it's better to not say anything, stay out of it, just ha run the park, be kind to your employees, uh, don't have any discrimination. Just, if the person can work and works hard, they should be working. And nobody cares what you do in your personal life, okay? We don't, we don't want to know. Your life and your choices are between you and God. Whether you believe in Him or not, and it's between you and God. It's not for anybody else to cause trouble with. I want to go ride a carousel at Disney. I don't want to talk about politics. You come here to my channel to look at diamond paintings. You don't want to hear about the politics. But the only reason I did that is because some of these pictures are Disney. This was bought before all this stuff started. You know how it takes so long to get stuff in. And yes, I did have to wait a good while. And this is a diamond painting factory, I do believe. And this is a long one. It is called, I mean, it is 40 by 80. And I am encouraged that this will turn out. And it is the castle. I'll have to get back far enough for you Ooh, to see it <laughs> and get the glare off. I'm running out of light, natural light. So you can see the castle. All right. And here are the diamonds that came with it. You can see, oh, Lord, have mercy at the, the peachy peach. All right. And we are doing this sideways. You can see they did bring, <laughs> oh, my gosh. They gave two of these. No. They gave a little bit bigger wax. I still don't think that's enough wax for this. Some people are not are, may be able to use it and still have some left over because they're not as heavy handed as me. But for some reason, I I cannot make that stuff last. I use the tack, the poster tack, uh, the blue tack stuff. So here we go, halfway down. Well, most of the way down. And it is, it is sticky. Um, I don't see any major issues with it other than the wrinkles from shipping and rolling it up. And we are going to try to put this back on. That is not what you want to do. To drop it. See, I made a wrinkle there. And so we shall try again. From here, let's see if I just, I just sort of let it kind of go itself and help, help it out a little bit along the way. Just roll it down on itself like that. And yeah, you'll have a few wrinkles, a few air bubbles, whatever, and you can kind of pull those to the edge. Well, if they don't get out, then you just do the corner again. Let's see if that will work. I have a big old air bubble right there, but I'll fix it when I turn it over. All right. Here we go. The bottom side. Now, there is a big wrinkle here. So, I'm going to have to really put some weight on that. Ah! <laughs> that side. <laughs> I hope I didn't scare you. All right. Sticky. A little less sticky over on that side. But uh, overall, 
I'm looking down to see if I see any issues. There's only those wrinkles right there at the bottom, if you can see that right there. But other than that, it looks like it's going to do just fine. Oh, sticky. I'm going to try to get this up straight and roll this down just like it needs to be rolled back and forth and so we don't make air pockets I try not to get the back side of this which is the bad side this cover needs to stay this side is the good side the top side of this cover right here if you put it down on that, it is going to stick and pull your glue off trying to get it off. So one side of this is the right side. So you do not want to pull this whole thing off unless you have some regular cooking parchment paper. Not wax paper, regular cooking parchment paper. Watch out, get non-stick. If anything says non-stick, it may have wax on it. So you have to be very careful get the regular parchment paper. Don't use saran wrap. Somebody I read the other day, somebody used a saran wrap and ruined their diamond painting. Okay, now trying to get that off, you know, trying to, they were trying to get that off. So this is 20, 24, 24, yep, 24 colors and it is Cinderella's Castle. We love it. We love it. And I'm going to show you the actual grid right here. Running out of light. I'm going to have to turn on something. You can see that grid right there. Okay. I'm not so disappointed with this one. It is a bigger one. 40 by 80. So it's twice as long as it is wide. Okay. And now we are going to look at the diamonds that come with it. Now this is in, these are different. Okay, come on. You know me and trying to get the tape off. It's getting a little dark in here, I'm sorry. Alright, here's number 225. Number 225, and it's in its own baggie. It's sealed. Okay, and it is the peach color. Alright. Now these are in individuals these are all into individual pick you know these you see what I'm saying and um okay there is a number on here it's in gold it was hard for me to see three seven two six and nine nine Wait, what is that? This one's red. Nine zero six nine nine six or six nine six. I don't know. I'll have to look at that with my glasses. Um, it's going to be very hard to see these numbers. Some of them are in red. I don't know if you can see that. And the bottom here in the window light, you can see. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait to the end. I will lift some up and let you see the colors. Okay, grays and blues. You know what Cinderella's castle looks like. And they've painted it pink at the top. They've made it look like the, um, I hope this is like the old one. The Cinderella castle, the way it's supposed to be. Because the one in California had the pink, or the, pa or the Paris one, I can't remember. One or the other had the pink. You know, they have the gray, and then it has the pink on the second area. Which a lot of people don't like because each castle had their own look. Each castle had their own look. And Cinderella's had her own look. And now they all look the same. Because they can't, they, I hope it was only because it was the 50th. I hope they don't keep that castle that color. A lot of people are upset over it. I'm included. I'm one of those old-timey people that don't like change. You know. 
And I hope y'all understand that I'm not trying to pick on anybody. I just, I have certain things I like. And I'm sure it's probably beautiful with that pink. When you're there, it's probably really pretty. But I'm seeing a lot of pink here. A lot of pink. And peach. And, like, this is all a dusty pink. All of this is a dusty pink. So I'm thinking... Yeah, and, I, and looking at the picture, it does look like a dusty pink. But I'm going to leave these out. I've got to check them off. The bad thing about it is I have to... I'm going to have to go take this and print it. And I hope that it's not so light with the numbering and small that I can't see it. Because this does not come with an inventory sheet. And I've got to check off all these numbers. It does not tell me how many packs. No inventory sheet. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. I am not happy with Diamond Painting Factory. If this is exactly Diamond Painting Factory, I am not happy with it at all. No, I mean... This one's okay on, on what it's going to turn out, but there's no inventory sheet. Now, I've had others that didn't have inventory sheets. But when you don't have, how many of these was supposed to come in the, in the actual pack? How do you know until you get all the way done with an 80 by 40? Yeah. It'll take forever, and then you get in the middle of something, and you can't find any more diamonds. When they're like this, Diamond Painting Factory, when they're like this, and there's individual sections by color, like this, 2, 1, 16 maybe, 11 maybe, I don't know. Uh, this, how am I supposed to know if you've sent me all my diamonds? How can I go on and check this off? I can't hardly even see the, the numbers. Because the it's either gold, very tiny gold lettering, numbering. I'm not happy. I was happy just seeing the castle. But now I'm realizing that it is the pink, the new pink version. And now this may not even be Cinderella's. This may be the one in Paris. I'll have to look and see. Okay, everybody, I'm just kind of discombobulated. I'm going to have to go through and figure out how to count these. I, I don't know. I'm going to have to just put them back in here and figure out how to count them because it's thrown me off. I know y'all probably, y'all some of y'all are used to this, and so just go ahead with go with it, Lara, or me, I'm, just go with it. And hope and pray you got all the, the uh, colors that you were supposed to get, and don't worry with it. There's too much in life to worry with. Yes, and I know, but I have a certain formula that I do, and this is the first time that I've got these in this situation where usually these kind come with an inventory sheet that they used to pick out the colors for this picture. And they would have checked off, and then I go behind them and check it off, and that way it's double checked to make sure that it has everything that you've paid for to complete the picture. How hard is it to do that? You just take that that piece of paper that they used to get to go and pick out all the colors that come in this one. And just wrap, put it in here like this, and wrap it up. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. I'm ranting today, and this was supposed to be a happy, happy day. Because these other things that come, and I'm going to just lay this down. I hate laying things down on the floor, but you know, you have to have any space. All right. This is the special stuff. I'm running out of light. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open up. 
these little baggies and y'all may have already seen this it comes with a boat wax and a pen and the little you can probably tell what it's gonna be by that color you see that color and it's uh <laughs> it doesn't come with glue it's on glue but here's all the colors i'm gonna show you oh my goodness you may guess it whenever you see them they're all special ab color with a little bit of iridescent to them let's see if you can see that with all this light going down in here okay and here it is it is a keychain with a little bell and <laughs> it's a yoda you see baby yoda grow good it's grow good and we're going to go ahead and take your time in out of there come on get out of there all right there we go keychain and then we've got one a thing that actually a lobster claw okay you got that and a keychain and a little bell and here he is grogu he's doing the force <sighs> He's, keep, he's saying, no, don't like, don't go away. I want everybody to see me. So he's cute the way he is. You could just leave him like this and not even put the diamonds on him, you know. But these, you put glue on. I use E600. And I try to use the, the one that's not got any fumes with it. Um, because of the fact <laughs> that it, it will burn your throat. It does mine. Um, now I can't pick it up. Now that here's all the colors. Pick it up right, ma'am. Okay, here's the colors that go on him. So you would put the glue on in a certain section, and then you would put put your little diamonds on there. Okay. But if you don't want to put the diamonds, you can just leave him like this. But he's gonna be so cute with little diamonds on there. But I just love him. You see this little face? See if I can get it to. Yeah. Yeah. It's just really cool. Ah! I just killed the baby. Mandalorian gonna come through here. Luke Skywalker. Somebody. Okay. Anyways, that's that one, and the other one is exactly the same. I bought two of them. <laughs> And I will probably do a quick video of putting the, the glue on and all the different things on here. Again, there's no instructions. There's no instructions on where to put all of this on here. There's no letters or symbols or anything like that. This is total... Get a picture on your phone and look at the picture and then you'll know where everything goes, I guess. Okay, so right now I'm really, not, I mean, this doesn't come with this glue and it tells you that whenever you order it, which is okay. I'm crafter. I have my own glue. Problem is, people, some people are not as crafty as other people and need instructions. They need uh, inventory sheets and they need... Uh, where the, the colors go and how do you place them? Okay, right now, I am not happy with Diamond Painting Factory if that is exactly where this is coming from, which I do believe it is because I, I broke down. I said, well, I'll go ahead and try them and see if they're going to be any good. I still have a couple more things in that in that package that I will, will um, make a video of, but... Not very happy, youngins. I am not happy. Mim is not happy. I'm looking red. I am hot right now. So I hope I'm not getting a sinus infection from that cold I had. I thought I was done. And it feels like I'm getting a sinus infection. Or either this is just a stupid pollen. I hope y'all are okay and you're not having pollen issues and allergy issues. If you are, I'm so sorry and I'll be praying for you. Each and every one of y'all, don't be upset with some of the things that I, I, you know, everyone has their own opinions and 
that's what's on everybody's mind now. You say Disney, and everybody's want, you know thinking about the the news and stuff that's been going on with them. Um, this new CEO has just really made it so expensive that it's hard for anybody to go see it anymore. Uh, he's made it so expensive. He's took away a lot of the freebies that you would get if you stayed on the resorts and things. And a lot of people are very upset. They really do not like the CEO. We don't know him personally. I don't know him personally. He may be a great guy, all right guy or whatever. But I'm going to tell you right now, if someone wanted to destroy Disney, I couldn't see anybody doing any different from this, what this man is doing. Because it's just... But enough with that. Y'all, everyone, I love y'all. Sending y'all great big hugs. And thank you so much for being subscribers and watching my videos. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Bye. <laughs>